Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on fall domain versus update domain. Availability zones are the fundamental notions of Microsoft Azure and fall domains in conjunction with update domains enable Azure. In Azure region, an availability zone is made up of fall domain and update domain. A fall domain is basically a logical aggregation of hardware that can avoid a single point of failure in an availability zone. It can also be considered as a collection of virtual machines that share a common network such as switch or a power source. When someone begins about architecturing the infrastructure of Microsoft Azure, they immediately turn virtual machines and begin improvising workloads for Azure Virtual Machine. Before you plan any virtual machines in Azure, you must first plan your virtual network, availability set, manage disk, desired state configuration, the deployment approach, the regional and high availability set, load balancers, and traffic manager. There are a lot more things such as application gateway, VPN. In this video, I will discuss a little but a critical concept about availability set with fall domain and update domain. Now before we discuss our today's agenda, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So first we are going to start with introduction, then we are going to discuss about what is availability set, then we are going to learn about what is availability zone, moving ahead we are going to discuss about how does availability set functions, then we are going to discuss about fall domain and update domain and at the end we will discuss about availability set versus availability zone. An availability set ensures the availability and redundancy of virtual computers. When at least two virtual machines are deployed into an availability set, at least one of them remains accessible regardless of whether maintenance is planned or unplanned. When you install at least two virtual machines into an availability set, you are eligible for 99.95% of virtual machine SLA. Even if you install a single virtual machine into an availability set by itself, you can qualify for 99.9% .9 of virtual machine SLA. If you use premium SSD or ultra disk for operating systems and data disks associated to the virtual machines. Microsoft Azure assigns an updated domain and a fall domain to each virtual machine deployed in an availability set. Now let's look at what is basically an availability set. An availability set is a logical grouping of virtual machines that allows Azure to understand how your application is constructed to ensure redundancy and availability. We propose that two or more virtual machines to be established within an availability set to deliver a highly available application and to achieve the 99.95% of Azure SLA. The availability set is free. You just pay for each virtual machine instance that you generate. Now, let's look at what are the availability zones. Availability zones are geographically isolated areas within data center regions where public cloud services originate and operate. Regions are geographic areas where public cloud service providers data centers are located. Businesses choose one or more global availability zones for their services based on their needs. Let's look at how basically availability set functions. The underlying Azure infrastructure assigns an updated domain and a fall domain to each virtual machine in your availability set. Each availability set can have up to three fall domains and up to 20 updated domains as specified. Update domains donate groups of virtual machines underlying real hardware that can be rebooted concurrently. When more than five virtual machines are configured within a single availability set within five update domains, the sixth virtual machine is assigned to the same update domain as the first virtual machine, the seventh one to the second and it goes on so on and so forth. Fall domains are group of virtual computers that use same power source and a network switch. By default, the virtual machine in your availability set are divided into three fall domains. While putting your virtual machines in an availability set does not protect them from the operating system or application specific problems. It does mitigate the effect of a physical hardware failures, network outages or power outages. Disk fall domains are also aligned with VMs. This alignment assures that all the managed disks attached to the virtual machines are in the same failure domains. 
In a managed availability set, only virtual machines with managed disks can be built. The number of managed disks or fall domains varies by region, with each region having two or three managed disks or fall domains. Now let's move up to fall domains versus updated domain. Consider each rack of servers with its own power supply and a network switch to be one fall domain. So if a data center has 10 racks of server, you have 10 separate fall domains. You may be wondering why such a grouping is necessary because to eliminate a single point of failure. Assume that we have 100 servers in a data center and all of which are connected by a single power supply and a network switch. What if one of the power supplies or a network switch fails? So all the 100 servers will fail as well. To avoid a single point of failure, each server rack has its own power supply and a network switch. Assume each rack contains 10 servers. Then only 10 servers in that rack are affected if the power supply or a network switch fails. The remaining 9 racks or 90 servers are unaffected. So by organizing servers in a data center into several racks or fault domains, we may avoid a single point of failure. The same concept applies to updating domains. If a data center has 100 servers, they are logically divided into 10, 15 or 20 update domains. The crucial thing to remember is that an update domain is a logical grouping. So why are the update domains required? Basically, server fixes and software updates must be done on a regular basis. Some changes necessitate a server boot. We don't want all of these servers to reboot at the same time. At any one time, only one update domain is rebooted. A rebooted update domain is then given 30 minutes to recuperate before maintenance on a different update domain is initiated. In a summary, if I talk about an update domain is a collection of servers that may be updated and rebooted simultaneously. A data center availability set is a notion made up by many fault domains and update domains. In reality, when you establish an availability set, you may specify how many fault domains and update domains it should contain. An availability zone is made up of update domain and a fault domain. Fault domains and update domains are also concept in availability zones. To begin, let us define an availability zone. In the availability zone, the fault domain is updated. An Azure availability zone, on the other hand, is a distinct physical location within an Azure region. Each availability zone consists of one or more data centers that have their own power, cooling, and networking. Not all regions have availability zones, but regions that do have availability zones have at least three distinct zones. Example of Azure availability zones. Consider each availability zone to be its own fault and update domain. So if you have three availability zones in the Azure region, you have three fault domains and three update domains. For example, if you create three virtual machines in an Azure region spanning three availability zones, your virtual machines are essentially distributed across three fault domains and three update domains. If one of the availability zone fails for any other reason, we still have two virtual machines from the other two availability zones. Similarly, if an update or patch is required, Azure schedules it at separate times for each availability zones. As a result, when the update is being done, only one of the availability zones is affected. The other two zones are unaffected. Here's a crucial point to remember. Both availability set and availability zone have the concept of update domain and a fault domain. A group of servers, a physical or logical, is a fault domain in case of availability set, while logical group of servers is an update domain. In case of an availability zone, each availability zone is treated as its own fault domain and update domain. So if you have three availability zones in an Azure region, you have three fault domains and three update domains. For example, if you create a single instance of a virtual machine in Azure, Microsoft guarantees only 99.9% .9 of SLA. If you create two or more virtual machines in an availability set, Microsoft promises that you will have connectivity to at least one of them, and that is 99.95% .95 of the time. However, if you build two or more virtual machine across two or more availability zone, Microsoft ensures that you will have access to at least one of these virtual machines 99.99% of the time. So now let's see about Azure availability set versus availability zone. 
The fundamental distinctions between availability set and availability zone are as follows. An availability set protects your Azure resources from outages within data centers, whereas availability zones protects against failure throughout the entire data center. Availability zones and availability sets are conceptually similar. There is nevertheless a distinction. Availability set protects applications from hardware failures within an Azure data center, whereas availability zones protect apps against total Azure data center failures. An availability zone is a distinct physical location inside an Azure region. Within each availability zone, there is an at least one data center. Each of these data centers has its own power, networking, and cooling systems. Every enabled region in Azure consists of at least three physical isolated zones to provide robustness. This physical separation safeguards apps against data center failures. In terms of service level agreement, uptime, and connectivity, Azure delivers 99.95% SLA with availability set and 99.99% of SLA with availability zone. So with an availability zone, Azure provides an industry leading 99.9% .9 of virtual machine uptime. Availability zones like the availability set are made up of fault domains and update domains. In contrast to availability sets, an availability zone has a single fault domain and a single update domain. When you deploy three or more virtual machines across three availability zones inside an Azure region, Azure will partition those virtual machines across three different fault domains and three different update domains to ensure that virtual machines in a different zones are never updated at the same time. Finally, availability zones protect apps against complete Azure data center failures, whereas availability set protect applications from hardware failures within an Azure data center. That was all for this session. Hope you would have got some idea regarding call domain and update domain. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud computing, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification on cloud and DevOps by IIT Madras. This course is taught by industry experts and IIT Madras faculty. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.